Hey there everybody, Shadow Phoenix here with another episode of Crystal Gardens Park. Uh, apparently this is one of my best parks I've created so far according to you guys. It's got the most views of any of my actual like uh, build videos, uh, I should say. Uh, the first episode did anyway. Uh, Alright, so we are actually kind of um, joining the broadcast in progress already here. What's happened was uh, I forgot to hit that record button and therefore I didn't get any of the first part of the building of our train station here. And yes, that's what this is, if you can't tell because of the long train that's actually in the station itself there. Yeah, I know it's kind of obvious. But, uh, so what we are doing uh, so far is, as you can see, I kind of wanted this little kind of plaza area. I didn't want to put the train station inside of the main entrance itself. I didn't want to go like Disney route or anything like that. So I had our entry plaza, you come in, and then the first thing you see is this big grand um, train station right there in front of you with our Ferris wheel right behind it. Um, so the next thing I had to do was figure out, okay, what is this train station going to look like? I needed to kind of find a, an architecture style that would kind of match that entrance so we could kind of go that, you know, kind of keeping the same kind of theme, so to speak. Um, I think I did pretty good here. Uh, it's not great, but I still love it. It's got a very, very open air quality to it. Um, and that was something I wanted, but it still looks very classic. Uh, I don't know what this particular architecture is called, but I'm gonna call, call it uh, Victorian because it seems Victorian to me. Like, I don't know why, it just does. I guess you could also consider it to be Romanesque in a way, but I, I don't know. Um, very Grand Central Station, maybe a little bit of that in, kind of involved in it. So as you can see, what I did is I created a glass, kind of arched glass roof. And I did this using the T-tops from the Knight Rider DLC, which are fantastic for this. If you place them just the right way, they, they go together great. Uh, what I did to get the arch was I took the arch frame pieces from the roof set. Uh, and I put those on each end and then I used those to kind of get the shape of how I wanted the roof to look and then from there just copied I made like one row and then just copied that row all the way across through there and then I took some fences as you can see there I'm copying them to the back there but uh, took these classy looking fences and gave them a gold tint and yeah I, I think it turned out well I hope you guys agree um, is it as up to par as what we did with our entrance no I don't think I'm ever going to be able to top that entrance. That entrance just came out so well and it's just so grand. Um, nothing else in this park is going to really be able to, to kind of meet that expectation of what that first entrance was. Uh, but hopefully you guys will stay with me for the entire series nonetheless because let me tell you, I'm pretty far into this already. This video was recorded back in early October. I'm really, really far into this entire map so far, this entire park. And it, this is by far my best work that I've ever done. That's my personal opinion. Uh, but I've had some other people tell me the same thing. Yeah, they agree that it is the best work that I've ever done in Planet Coaster as of yet. Um, and, you know, this just this station alone is what we're just talking about in this one. Yeah, I, I wish I had recorded all of it, but I just did not get a chance. Um, I kind of forgot to do it. Here's the story behind kind of where this is coming from. So originally when I first made our, our entrance there, I intended the park to be more of a, hey, I'm gonna build this entrance, then I'm gonna pass it to somebody else and let them build in it, and then we're gonna pass it to somebody else. Kind of a community park thing. And then I came down with very, very bad depression, um, where you know I was basically, I was alone, uh, I didn't really have anybody, and uh, it was just really starting to get to me. Um, my ex-girlfriend had just pretty much called things quits for sure. And uh, I was I was really in the dumps, man. I seriously was. Uh, I barely, you know, like got on Twitch. I wasn't really making any videos. <clears throat> and then I started getting better. Um, and this was part of the process because I really needed to kind of find something to take my time and my thoughts away. So Vista View was kind of put on the back burner for a little while. And I started working on this because I, I, I guess my creativity, I came onto a block. I couldn't think of what I wanted to do with Vista View at that point, but I had thoughts about other stuff. So I kind of come in here and I thought, I'm going to build in, in this park. We're going to take this and we're going to turn it in a park. 
So that's where this came in at. And uh, since I was still kind of, I was still kind of depressed somewhat when I was building this, and therefore I wasn't really thinking about recording and. Things were just kind of skipping my mind, so to speak. Uh, not skipping, slipping. I guess you could say skipping, but yeah. Um, and that's where this kind of came in at. And you know, I thought, yeah, let's build a station. You know, we'll, we'll see how we, what else we can do with this. Um, and I, my original thought was I wanted a train station and I wanted the Ferris wheel to be behind it, and then a lake behind the Ferris wheel. And then all we had to do was just come up with um, how are we going to do that. And what the actual train station would look like itself so um, that is kind of where we come in at and I really wish I had recorded the first part of this where you could actually see me putting the roof and stuff on and everything else uh, but I guess this will do I mean you can kind of see what it looks like and you know it, I hope you guys agree that it, I think it come out beautiful it really did uh, it got the exact effect that I wanted to we even took the tower from the top of the to kind of give it a little bit of symmetry with the entrance. I took the in, the tower off of the one of the side towers of the entrance and moved it on top of this to give it that same kind of feel. Um, we used the same brick textures. Um, you know, I tried to kind of mix and match a few things in there. But also, I, I tried it with white brick. It didn't really look very good. So then I went with a red and I kind of lightened the red a little bit to kind of, I guess it almost looks somewhat pink. It's like a dark pink in a way, but I mean, I, I know what color of pink it looks like to me, but I'm not going to say that on YouTube. <laughs> uh, so that is uh, kind of where we come from uh, on this point. Um, not much else really to talk about in this particular episode. Uh, I raised up the ground a little bit and then we made some steps kind of up to this little area here because I, I wanted to be like a different level than what the main platform was. And that was to get a little bit of height onto the Ferris wheel that was set behind it. So when you come in, you're kind of, the train station has some height to it and it's got some view. And then the Ferris wheel behind that, you can also see. And you can see the Ferris wheel from outside of the park really well too, I think as well. Uh, so it, it gives a beautiful vista as soon as you walk in to the actual park. Um, and you got these little steps that came up and the way I did these steps was not easy. Um, I took a trick, I think it was Ruble Trillions or Commando Santa had mentioned it in Jubilee Gardens to um, use a shop and you place the shop down and then you can raise or lower you know kind of how you want these steps to be that way so if you want like say only two or three steps it's actually possible by using a shop this could actually work for a tutorial video that I, I may do at some point um, I've got a lot of videos to do uh, and you know that not much else to say there I put this kind of brick path, you know, path texture down there in front of the steps to kind of cover up the places that were missing there uh, we eventually will also put some trash cans in there we'll get some railings and uh, this actually came out really, really good. Um, in this episode, I do not have an after view uh, because I didn't record one at the time. And if I was to go back in and record what this looks like now, you would see so much more has been done that it's just not possible for me to go back and kind of be like, oh, hey, look here, this is what this looks like now. We're done with it. So I won't have one of those in this episode, but maybe we'll try to do one in the next one. We'll see what happens. Um, Hopefully I can start remembering to actually record when I'm <laughs> doing these. Uh, it's been a month now and I'm still having trouble trying to remember to actually hit that record button. So I, I apologize guys. There's going to be some stuff that's going to be missing from build footage and stuff that you're going to come into and be like, oh hey I built this. Check it out. Uh, and <laughs> I don't know, maybe some of you guys like that. Maybe you guys don't like the time lapse videos as much. But it is what it is and I can't go back and, and redo it. Well, I, I suppose I could, but I'm not gonna because this took a long time. This was uh, quite a bit of building that I did on this. Although a lot of it was just trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And then once I figured that out, it was just putting the pieces together. So I probably could go back and rebuild it a second time and it wouldn't be as hard, but yeah. 
All right, um, that is about it to really talk much about this. Uh, we will continue in the next episode. Uh, you guys will still have another couple of videos this week coming to you. You will also have a Vista View and Wicker Lake both coming at you this week. And I know it is late in the week already as it is, and it is Thanksgiving week, but uh, I will be at home on Thanksgiving Day with my family. Uh, going back home, I should say. Um, spending the day with my daughter and my family and getting some turkey. Uh, I hope you guys also have a great holiday if I don't see you before then or, or you guys don't see another video from me before then. But I will definitely have another couple of videos out for you this week. Uh, I'm getting back into the swing of things and hopefully things will pay off. So uh, I want to say a huge thanks to everybody who watched the first episode of Crystal Gardens. Thank you so much. I don't know what it was about that specific video that you guys loved. But it has gotten so many views and I all of a sudden like jumped up like 50 some viewers, like 50 subscribers on YouTube. I don't know why, but I'm not complaining. Thank you so much, guys. I'm glad you enjoy the videos. I'm glad you enjoy the builds. Um, and I hope to stick around to see what else is kind of, you know, going to come from this park. Because I'll say it once, I'll say it again. This is by far my best work I have ever done in, in Planet Coaster. I'm so proud of everything on this, and I can't wait to show even more of this off to you guys. So uh, we're going to head out of here now, and I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. And just remember, this is Tuesday the 21st. Tomorrow is the 22nd, and it is the Planet Coaster update, and I can't wait for it. I'm sure you guys can't either. So next time, uh, we'll see you guys later. Hey everyone, if you'd like to help support me and my channel, I have a Patreon page where you can do just that. You can pledge anything from a dollar or more. Anyone who pledges $15 or more gets a unique, specially designed roller coaster and planet coaster made just for them. My little way of saying thanks. You can also just send donations as well if you don't want to join Patreon. And you can find those links in the video description below. Every tiny red set I make from these means the world to me and is extremely helpful. If you're interested in my PC setup that I work with and play on that you see here, every piece of the system is described below with links to Amazon if you want to purchase them or anything else. Thanks for tuning in my videos and my channel. If you aren't already a subscriber, click that on the screen below. And you can also check out a few of my other videos on the screen here as well. You can keep up to date on what's going on in my own little world via Twitter or watch me stream live on Twitch as well. Links are in the video description below. So wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night.